Time to feel sorry for yourself. Take a short breather and pull yourself together. The next nightmare awaits and time is running out. <laughs> what the? What's happening? The eye! What did you do? Did you miss me, Beers? You idiot! You let him in! Do you realize what you've done? Don't be so hard on the poor boy. I marked his mind. No, oh, he resisted. But there was nothing he could do to stop it. You always knew this moment would come. Is that so? I guess I should thank you then. If I finish you off here, getting the rest of the ring pieces will be much easier. Even this fool won't mess that up. How naive! Even now, you really believe you have a chance. You think you can claim me, Malak? I'm not as powerless as I was before. You've always belonged to me, Beers. Nothing will change that. demon to be beaten and at my mercy for a change you think you're so clever and yet somehow I always win beaten by a mere mortal to think I was silly enough to fear you all this time the ring's power is even greater than I imagined <laughs> what are you laughing about <laughs> <laughs> what trickery is this? What's the matter, Beers? Don't lose your confidence so quickly. It doesn't matter how many clones you make. I'll destroy them all. I'm too powerful. Stop now, Malak. I've beaten you. <laughs> One more thing, Beers. Do you remember what I said before? I promised I'd be coming, and that I'd be bringing your worst nightmares with me. Well, I always keep my promises. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to see her again. Oh. <coughs> oh, does it hurt, Percy? Should have stayed out of my room. Not sorry at all, are you? Well, that's okay. An apology isn't going to save you. I'm going to help Daddy tear you apart. Peace by peace. It'll be fun. Oh, goody! That mean man that took all my friends is here, too. Hiya! It was necessary. I had to do it. Ah, yes, and it was beautiful work. I enjoyed your little offering. Too bad you refused to know your place. Can I stab her face? Yes, yes. There'll be plenty of time for that. But first, Let's get what we came for. Ah, uh, good. All here. I'll be taking these back now. You filthy demon. Those are mine. He's taking the ring pieces. If you ever want to see them again, get up right now and stop it. 
No! Those are mine! This is not over, Malak. I won't let it end this way. Jeez, are you still whining? Shut up and die already! You think you've won, Malak? You don't have them all. The one I took from you that day. What? How did you bind that one? will always have it. Be gone from this place! Be gone! Yeah. You're only delaying the inevitable means. The outcome has not changed, and the ring pieces are coming with me. I'll be taking your little puppet as well. She can't interfere here. No more lucky breaks, mortal. Fate has finally caught up with you. Time for you to join your family. Permanently. <clears throat> Look around you. Do you even know where you truly are? You mortals have always believed in the existence of heaven and hell. It's a rather quaint and amusing concept. There is a dark dimension. All evil souls eventually gather there and wage war to become the ultimate evil. This place and my realm are a part of it. You've been meddling in my affairs all this time, but I am no ordinary demon. Over countless millennia, I have grown my army and my power with the rivals that I have vanquished and the mortal souls that I have acquired. You could say business has been booming. Beerce was one of those souls. She never told you her little story, did she? A century ago, Beerce offered her soul to me. She wanted to be a movie star, a trite request, but I agreed nonetheless. I just required a tribute from her first, a small offering. <laughs> I gave Beers what she wanted, but when I came to collect, she decided to get cute. She thought she could get out of her contract by using that accursed ring. However, I didn't become an elite evil by letting my guard down. Her little ambush failed. I shattered the ring and took the pieces, but it wasn't enough. One of the pieces formed a bond with Beerce's soul. She used that to seal herself into that annoying little pocket dimension. As if that cage could keep me out forever. In this place, having your power and ring stolen by mortals is not a good look. You both made me appear weak and vulnerable. That's bad for business. Now it's time to pay the price. That's enough, Chicha. She's ready now. Let's get this execution started, shall we? I'm here. How sweet. You brought a new companion for my babies to play with? Yes, I have. Do they enjoy playing with mortals? Oh, yes. They'll be very excited. This one looks a bit weak, though. Not very lively. They usually last longer if they have a little fight left in them. Lucky and his gang got a little carried away. Not that it matters, dear Malik. My babies always leave very little behind regardless. <sighs> I've told you not to call me that. You know I hate it. But I like it. This mortal soul will be a bit harder to destroy. His time is not up yet. I assume you can handle it. Take your time and make an example out of him. As you command, dear Malik. Gather him up, my babies, and bring him inside. Put the mortal in the kitchen, for now. I have an urgent matter to attend to. 
Are the ring pieces secure here for now? Of course, dear Malik. They are quite safe here. Any last words? <laughs> No, it's not time yet. I will help you. Escape. <laughs>